Or you can turn in your Bible to Hebrews chapter 1, verse 8. I'm going to show you an interesting thing the Lord showed me here. Uh, Hebrews chapter 1, verse 8. You get in context, chapter 1 is talking the Father speaking about the Son. God the Father speaking about Jesus Christ, in other words. Uh, verse 8, But unto the Son he saith, Thy throne, O God, is forever and ever. A scepter of righteousness is the scepter of thy kingdom. And it goes down through, Thou hast loved righteousness and hated iniquity. Therefore God, even thy God, hath anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thy fellows. It goes down through. The Father is actually worshiping the Son here. He's exalting him. He's lifting him up. And it's interesting because the Trinitarians will go here and they'll try to say, well, see, this is a scripture that proves God the Son. It, because the Father calls the Son God. So therefore, it has to be God the Son. Uh, no, it doesn't say God the Son. But uh, they seem to miss the point here. Why is the Father worshiping the Son here in this context? If they're two separate persons, two separate beings, if you will, they're, I mean, that's what they always say, two separate persons. They're not one and the same being. They're not the same person. Even though uh, verse of 3, who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person, right there, singular. But uh, if they're two separate persons, why is the Father worshiping the Son? It's a question I like to have people answer. There's something really important to think about there. Thank you for watching.